We're very happy that you took the time to speak with us today regarding our business, especially during these challenging times. In your opinion, how do you best pivot? Do you think that we should continue business as normal? You know, what you got to do a lot of times is home in on what's working. And even if things are going great, how do you make them better? Also remember, what are you what are you really selling? Are you selling comfort food? Are you selling a healthier lifestyle? Uh, and, and home in on that. You know, a, a gym owner will sit there and they go, well, I'm, I'm selling memberships. No, you're not. You're selling a healthy mindset. You're selling health. And I, and I think the easiest thing to sell is the truth. And you already know that you've been doing great in selling this uh, comfort and healthier food, uh, you know, with a different mindset. And you don't feel guilty after you eat your stuff. You feel great. And one of the other things that we're selling, I think, also is the atmosphere. I think the challenge that we were having is how do we continue to sell that outside of the building? Maybe you ask your customers. A lot of times, go out to your customers and say, what do you want to see? And you you won't ima- you, you can't imagine how well your customers know your brand and they'll give you better ideas. And they'll feel like they're part of the movement. Yeah. Well, we, we also have a, a part of the restaurant, which we show live entertainment. We want to really bring that back to Overtown. I want to stream that already. Why are you not streaming that so I can sit there at home and, and be part of the audience? That's satisfying customers, but that's also bringing awareness to people that were, did not know about you because you're doing just a little bit more than everybody else. You know, how do, in your opinion, we develop a stable and long-term footprint within the Black community that we call home and how do we stay here? because of social media, because of user-generated content, you have little kids and, and parents and people looking up to you and saying, I know now that I can do something because I'm seeing these individuals do something. So you have to find ways to include the community and in things you're doing. People like to say, I gave 200 times to say, say, what do you mean 200 times? Well, every time I bought a pair of socks, I gave it to the homeless. Every time I did this, I took illegal guns off the streets. Every time I bought this, I helped clean up the ocean and I stopped human trafficking and I saved our little furry friends who can't fight for themselves. And because we have social media and all these ways to communicate, your customer will brag about what you're doing and brag on their behalf. They're going to be someplace at the water cooler on Zoom going, you know why I go here? Because this is what they do. And that is a great example of how to grow in the community. Don't be ashamed, people like to brag, right? They like to brag about when they see people doing things and ask them to. And then you can also, of course, always share, listen, even if you're going to buy from us or not, here are some great organizations that you could help make a difference to. And it doesn't need to seem like it's always just in your best interest. People just wanna know that you care. Absolutely. One thing we, we take a pride on about the restaurant is that it's just not a restaurant. It's like a, um, a black hub. Businesses, startups, everybody coming here, and you never know who you're going to meet. So you can also network. It doesn't matter how, how old you are or what your, your demographics are. You'd be surprised to come in here and just start conversing because of the atmosphere. I want to think like I'm missing out on the party. Or if I don't get that food, or if I was eating this and it comforted me, but there would have been a healthier way to do this, then I'm missing out on the party. You know, people can have conversations with each other across the room, and it is just such a wonderful and beautiful home that, you know, we definitely missed while the pandemic was in place. And that's all you need to do. You need to start with just two people that love what you're doing, and then let's press the four and 10 and 20 and 50. But right now, you know, you just got to hold on through however long we're going through this and make (laughs) sure, though, you don't spread yourself too thin. You just got to over-deliver on those customers that miss you, you know? Absolutely. One of the things that we're also known for is attracting um, people who normally would not come into Overtown to dine. What are some better ways to do that? The messaging that we should probably put out to get more of those people over there comfortable with dining with us. It's, it's your communication, right? And, and everybody you speak to differently. You don't converse with your grandmother the same way you converse with your cousin. The college kids, uh, you know, they may want to think about the price or think about the coolness of it. Right. The health conscious people think about the healthy aspect of it and the people who can buy from any place they want. They may think, I just want to make sure it's hot and I don't got to leave and you're saving me time. So how do you have those conversations and get it out? You already got the truth. And that's the difference. Right. You have a history of uh, over delivering and a unique selling proposition. You just got to find a way to to present that to the ones, you know, that that you want to get to and keep getting the messaging out. I think that's, like you said, that's the most important thing at this point. Over delivery. Try new things, but try them small, fail fast, and try it again.
Thank you so much for the time. We are so grateful. I just want to say I appreciate what you did for the culture, everything. I grew up with great aspirations just because of companies like Ubu. You know, y'all y'all inspired us to be ourselves and take pride. In, and that's, that's what we are, unapologetically Black. And, like, we don't try to change anybody else, but we just be ourselves proud. And I think you hit on two valuable points. I was inspired by Carl Kanai and Cross Colors, so thank God I was able to inspire you a little bit, and you will inspire way more people out there. And that's right. Listen, I was taught something very, very important when I was young. You could be pro-Black. You don't have to be anti-anything else. And uh, people of all cultures, if they are real people and they have moral standards, they can respect that. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.